I do apologize for the amount of games I've been playing lately and not build tutorials, but in real life, I've just been so busy. What's going on, guys? It's you, Mike Star 238 Today, we are doing a puzzle game. Well, not a puzzle game. There's many different genres of games in this, so I don't know if I'll ever complete it in this video or not. I'll have to... I'll let, I'll let you guys decide on that. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we will have some more building tutorials pretty darn soon, so make sure to check out for those. But with that said, I think it's going to be a super short intro. We're just going to start and begin to play some of these games, and you can see we have, like, Find the Button, Parkour, Try to Die, Maze, a lot of games like that. So it's going to be really fun. I'll put a link to the uh, map down in the description if you guys want to play it for yourself. And I think it would be fun to play one in each of every single of these games, so I've never done a Which Doesn't Belong game before. Let's click that. And it sounds pretty explanatory, Which Doesn't Belong. So I gotta just look from all of these and see which one doesn't belong. And uh, am I blind? So so far they all look like they belong. Or is it this one? This one because it's not lined up. So how do I? It's this one. It's this one right here. How do I? How do I select it? Uh, oh, or we just press start now. There we go. So which one doesn't belong? That's snow, and those are all sandstone. Uh, that's nether bricks. That's bricks. That's sandstone bricks. So I'm guessing it's the snow. And correct, snow isn't a slab. Okay, that's the reasoning. Still got it right. Looking at the anvils, that one's broken. These three are not. So, I'm gonna go with the dam uh, the damaged anvil. Right here, this is light source, light source, light source. I'm guessing it's the redstone because it doesn't produce as much light. Yep, the redstone torch gives less light. For this one, that's an armor stand. Entity, entity, an entity, and sand is not an entity. I don't believe. I got that one wrong. Huh. Okay, uh, armor stand, sand, ender chest. What do these all have in common? The sand can be an entity, I think. Maybe it's the dragon egg. Okay, I'm just gonna start uh, 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 clicking buttons randomly. What is it? Every block falls except the ender chest. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so I didn't know ender dragons could fall, huh? So now we got a redstone lamp, a dropper, a note block, and a piston. Hmm, and I'm guessing, oh man, I don't know, I don't know what the difference is between these things. Is that sad or what? Uh, there's a piston that extends, the note block plays music, the dropper drops stuff. I'm gonna say redstone lamp. When it activated, it makes a sound. There you go. Okay, so for from farming and stuff, there, oh, this one, because it's in the nether, and those are all overworld plants. Or nether wart doesn't need water to grow. There you go. I am a professional Minecraft player, if you guys can tell. Okay, so now there's snow, there's grass path, grass, and there's farmland right there, which the farmland's expired a little bit. Um, I'm gonna say snow. Okay. Snow can accumulate over time. Maybe grass can't be broken. That's what it is. Grass block is the only one full. Okay, there you go. I still got to right. <laughs> I'm failing on this one. This is well, this one's easy. These are all armor. That's a tunic. So like, yeah, the leather armor has different names. There you go. Okay, for these potions, uh, this one looks different. It looks like a different color. Am I colorblind? Uh oh. That's purple. That looks like green. That looks. Uh. Time to time to click random buttons. Whoopsie. Okay, every potion affects your movement except potion of poison. Oh, I can't tell that by the colors. That's not fair. Okay, now we got a bed, sponge. This is fall damage for sure. And I believe that it's the sponge because slime block and hay bomb, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, all of the clocks or all of the blocks reduce your fall damage. Okay, so that's an end portal. That's a jukebox, a diamond, and a, a, a table right there. And I'm guessing all of these require diamonds. This one does not. Yep, all the blocks have diamonds in the recipe. So that's acacia sapling, that's a flower, that's andesite. This one's Totally. How is that not different? What? Now I'm, oh, wait, wait. Maybe the names? I, I don't know. We'll eventually see, I guess. All the blocks start with A. Okay, so this is smooth stone block, red sandstone, andesite, and smooth sandstone. Smooth, 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 uh, except the andesite. There we go, or the diorite, whatever. So now we've got a command block, cobweb, broken stone. All of the th other three blocks are found in the stronghold except the command block. Nope, that's not right. Okay, let's try this button. Uh, items you can't make in survival. Oh, this is a command block. Wait, you can make a, no. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, that's diamond ore, that's emerald. This is the obvious one, quartz. Or not, oh my gosh, wow. I'm doing terrible in this game. Uh, gold ore? You have to smelt the gold to get the ingot. Okay, that's what makes them all different. Now we got an oak sign, oak trap door, oak fence gate, and an oak door. Oak door, trap door, fence gate, sign, sign. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong again. I stink at this game so much, apparently. All blocks are waterlocked. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, oh, we're already committed, we can't, we can't return. I guess we gotta keep going. Okay, so we got a snow golem, a sheep, a mushroom, and a bunny. And I'm gonna say snow golem because you can only craft the snow golem, okay? No, that's not what it is. All of these guys 
are affected by biomes and the bunny's not. Or you can't shear a rabbit. There you go. Mossy cobble. This one right here doesn't have any mossy on it. Okay. Uh, we got an iron bar, glass, fence, and enron. This is getting a little a little repetitive, but we'll keep going with it. We got we to gotta check on. So I'm going to say the height. Height is what difference. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fence has a higher height. The oak fence is thick. <laughs> that too, apparently. Okay. We got some granite, cauldron, the chiseled, and the oak wood. Um, cauldron, granite. I'm going to say the granite or the, the cauldron. You can't craft a cauldron in your survival inventory. There you go. Wow, that was stressful. That was really, really stressful. I did not like that. Let's go ahead and just hop onto another one called the Effect Run, which I have no idea what this is, but let's try it out. Or info, right here. Uh, info, four different maps. All of the maps use different effects, okay? So, I guess we just press these buttons to start. Let's start the green one. Jump boost, so. Oh, okay. I will have some jump boost over here. Uh, it's a little bit of parkour, it seems, which obviously I'm a master at parkour, so this will go by uh, swimmingly, which it's totally not. I am failing hard right now. Okay, we jump over there. Boom. And we made it. Look at that. Professional. Okay, sweet. So now we're going to do slowness, which slowness, I have a gut feeling, is going to be really annoying. But so far, it doesn't seem that bad. Maybe my parkour's increased. My parkour skills. Whoa! Oh, I almost didn't make that one. Okay, and then speed. So you got to go a little bit slower. Maybe I could just run across these. Oh, that's so much easier. Look at that. I think that's what you're supposed to do, and I was just not... I don't know. What? What? I like that. That was actually really fun. Okay, cool. Now there's nausea, which if I just go quick enough on this one, oh, if I just go quick enough, the nausea will get not too bad to the point that I can't do the parkour. But oh my gosh, oh, I feel like, oh my gosh, that's so insanely hard. My entire view is just so warped. Look at me dancing in the, in the warped nausea. Does it keep staying with you too? I guess it does. Okay, we just got to keep going for this. Okay, we made that jump. Oh my this is so much fun, but so difficult, and I'm getting really nauseous. I hope you guys aren't getting nauseous, too. I gotta complete this quick. Okay, we're on this block. Gotta jump to this one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Press the button. I feel a little sick now. That, that kind of made my stomach a bit queasy. Wow. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Find the button, which... Find the button is a pretty simple one. We just find the button of the map and do a little bit of exploring and whatnot. There's a campfire over there. Uh... Hello, villager. Ooh, he gives me potatoes for five ladders. So let's get some potatoes. Let's trade for some five ladders. This is cool. I like this sort of thing. This this is always fun. Uh, uh, oh, or just one potato. Or no, cooked potato. Ooh, we got to put them on the campfire right here. Using all sorts of Minecraft game elements to craft this game, which is always fun. I love that. I love using Minecraft elements to make you think. Except for when it's like that one thing where I had to tell the difference between uh, a fence, fence post and glass. I don't like that. That was not fun. Okay, come on, cook, 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 cook. We gotta do a cooking dance among, along the campfire as we wait for it. Can you kill yourself with this thing? Uh, actually, I don't wanna try. That would not be fun. They gotta be done soon, I can smell them. They, they smell pretty toasty too. Maybe we'll get some french fries. You guys want some french fries too? Ooh, there we go. Got some baked potatoes. Let's get the sour cream and have a feast. Okay, so now that we got that, we'll trade it for some ladders right there. We got 20 ladders and these ladders, can I place them anywhere? Or can I just place them anywhere I want. I guess so. Sweet. So we'll climb up here onto this tree and I bet you it's towards the top. Right there. There's a button. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Now we got this chest over here. We got a wooden pickaxe. We got some sticks over here too. This villager, what does he want? He wants diamond for a spruce button. Okay. So we definitely need to get the diamond in this furnace. There's a little bit of coal. We'll get some iron because that's something we need in order. Actually, I always forget this. I always forget. I'm going to get cobble before I get the iron because I don't know if you can damage the iron ore by using a wooden pickaxe. Okay, so let's do this. Let's craft up a stone pickaxe. Again, guys, you all are always asking for a survival let's play. This is my survival let's play right here, right here. Again, some iron, you know. I'm I'm, I'm playing in survival mode. You know, you, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, nice. Now that we got that, we'll smelt up the iron and do a little bit more waiting. And in the meantime, I think it's probably a good idea to try to locate where the diamond's gonna be. What's in that chest? Can I right click it? Ooh, am I too far? Nope, there's nothing in the chest, okay? Maybe jump in the water right here. Oh, there's a diamond. I found a diamond right there. Nice. That's one of the diamonds that we need. Or no, we just need one diamond, right? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Our iron's probably almost done. Yep. I just got that tiny bit of an arrow left almost there. Uh, uh. There we go. Nice. So let's get the three iron and we need more of sticks. So let's get the sticks out too. Craft an iron pick. Not a hoe because that would have been disastrous and, and then we'll do a bit of parkour to get on up here 
I wonder if we could just mine up instead, but I'll just, I'll just mine from right here. There we go. Got the diamond and we got the button because of that so we can trade with the villager. Which we got that right there. And we got the spruce button, which the spruce button can be placed. Where can it be placed? Where do I place the spruce button? I don't want to place it in the wrong spot. I mean, I guess I can break it if, if worse comes to worse. Let's just put it there. No. Okay. Uh, where do we put the button, sir? I'm not sure. I have no idea. They weren't clear on this part. Oh, wait. Right there. On, on, on the one block that's different. There we go. Level two is done. Here's our bunny. We are in a very black area. This is a witch hut. Witch hut that we got. Okay, there's some nether warts under there. I'm probably gonna have to use that for something in just a moment. There's a redstone torch in there. Redstone torch in there as well. Let's go inside. And there's a book. Sweet recipe. Uh, awkward potion. Nether wart, glass bottle, a rabbit's foot, glowstone dust. Okay, so we need to get all of that material. There's a furnace right there. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't want to kill you, but I had to. Okay, we got the rabbit's foot. So now what we need is probably some sugar cane for the sugar for the eyeball, I believe, right? What's the recipe again? Uh, right here. Awkward potion, nether wart, glass bottle, rabbit's foot, and glowstone dust. Glowstone dust, rabbit's foot. Awkward potion is just a nether wart. We'll do that in the meantime if we can find the bottle. We need some blaze powder too, don't we? I think we do. And there's a barrel down there with a stone shovel, and then there's another barrel with some glowstone dust. So that's good. So now that we got that, Hmm, what do we dig with this? Can this dig anything? Can dig sand and nether warts? Apparently. So let's begin digging down here. Oh wait, I'm digging everything with this shovel. What? Can break sand and nether warts. No, I'm, oh wait, the, the sand is for the glass bottle. Oh, see, this is, this is a good challenge. This is cool. It's testing my Minecraft skills. So we'll put the sand in there. And don't we need, oh wait, it has some of that already in it. Sweet. So it's already got some of the blaze powder. And now it's just time for crafting some potions, which, like I told you guys in one of my videos before, not the biggest fan of potions, but, you know, we gotta craft one, and, and we got the recipe right here, which is nice. The nether wart, the glass bottle, the foot, and the glowstone dust. So in here, we've got one more glass, or two more glass to smell. Gosh dang. Why do furnaces take so long? They, they needed to fix that, just like so you could put the sand in there, and then it instantly gave you the, uh, the glass bottle. So that way I won't have to fill in the space with a bunch of talking, a bunch of running around, and a bunch of punching the air. Okay, let's go ahead, climb the ladder, and now it's done. We'll craft up our glass bottles. Take some water right there. Ooh, I'll just craft it down here then. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just... Oh wait, you just right-click into the thing. I was confused with Terraria for a second. You have to infin open your inventory and then craft the bottles actually in, in, um, in your inventory. Yeah. I've played Terraria before, uh, have you guys? I, I, I used to be a really big fan of that. I should have done a series on that because that would have been fun, but now nobody plays Terraria anymore, so it's like, it's kind of like the niche, nobody plays that game anymore category. Luckily, everyone always plays Minecraft, and Minecraft, I have a gut feeling, will never, never die. Sweet, so we got the awkward potions, and from there, the book says, rabbit's foot and glowstone dust. So let's put the rabbit's foot in there. Is this gonna make a leaping potion, I think? Oh yeah, because then we just leap up on out of there and put the, and there's probably a button right there, I bet you, if we climb up here. Can we see it from, from this part? If I jump, no, I don't see a button. I don't see a button in there. Okay, so the rabbit's foot is almost done and I think I should be able to just, uh, or no, the glowstone makes it stronger, so we do have to strengthen this thing. We learned this in that level again video when we did that. That's what we learned, is that glowstone can increase the strength of your potions, which I did not know, so. Now that I do know that, we'll, we'll get this done right the first time. Okay, and the potion is done. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. I wanna keep going, I wanna keep playing. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that we got the potions, we'll drink one of these. We'll go ahead and jump on up here, and jump up here, and then jump onto the roof, and there's a button. Nice. All right, so now that we're in here, looks like there's a farm, there's some melons, there's an iron ax, a sword, and a skeleton spawn egg as well. Okay, we can trade melons for seeds and a pumpkin, a pumpkin for a button. So let's get the melons over here then real quick. So we got that and we'll be able to trans, oh, oh, the skeleton's gonna be for bone meal. Okay, I see where it's going with this. So now that we got the pumpkin seeds, we can place the pumpkin right there and then we'll spawn in a skeleton which hopefully he'll give me a bone which can get some bone meal. Oh, the pumpkin's already grown. Dang, that was really quick. That worked perfectly, all right, nice. So now that we got that, we'll trade the pumpkin for the button. 
There we go. And this birch button, I'm guessing we place it right here on this block. Boom. And look at that. We, have, we might actually finish this game in today's video if I go fast enough. Let's go ahead and just hop onto the parkour immediately. Parkour. And what does it say right here? There's start, 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 start. So I'm guessing there's just a few. Oh, info right there. There's eight different themes. The further you go, the harder it gets. You know what? Let's hold off on this. Let's wait to do this till the end because my parkour is not the greatest. Let's do a try not to die challenge. That sounds fun. Okay, info. Try not to die. Let's read the info right here. 10 levels. Try to kill yourself or try to die. Excuse me. Try to die. I just don't want to die. The further you go, the harder it gets, but you got to kill yourself each time. I don't want to die. Okay. This one looks pretty not explanatory at all. I'm guessing first one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just jumping on the magma block. That was super easy. And there's hints as well. For this next one, there's a pressure plate over here. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. There's a furnace right there. Let's just kill ourselves on the cactus then. Is this going to take too long? This might take too long. This would be such a painful death in all honesty. If you think about it, you just like landing on a cactus and getting to the point where you just get pierced and you just die. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't even want to think about that. That just sounds way too painful. Okay, nice. Now we're onto this level. There's nothing in this dispenser, but there's a skeleton. I'm guessing I got to get an arrow from him, don't I? Yep, put the arrow in there. And then I shoot myself with it. This is such a sad game concept. Oh, and that didn't kill me. <gasps> oh no, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay, let me let, let me do a little bit of uh, command magic real quick. Uh, yeah, I totally died from that arrow and it spawned me in the next one. Sweet, we got to cheat it a little bit. Okay, up here. This has totally got to be fall damage. This has got to be, ooh, ooh, oh no. Oh no, my mouse just died. Let me, let, I'll be back. I can't do anything except move with the arrow keys because my mouse just died. I'll be back in just a second, whoopsie. And we are back after looking for like 10 minutes for these stupid batteries. I, um, apparently we're out of a triple A batteries. And so now I have to get some more. I'm borrowing the batteries from my uh, uh, remote to my TV right now which is not good if my little brother finds that out. Pizza Boss 43, he will not be happy because he watches TV all the time. Okay, let's just kill ourselves real quick. Ooh, oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Do I just have to keep jumping as quickly as I can? I'm getting lots and lots and lots of fall damage. This was not well thought out because, oh, there we go. Now I'm starting to get hungry. That's good. That is very good. Now I'm gonna lose more hearts. This is, this is not challenging. It's just annoying. It's, I'm, I'm having to purposely kill myself each and every single time by just going all the way to the top and then jumping down and and that's just sad. That's such a sad way to kill yourself. <laughs> this reminds me of, um, I was watching the Ted Bundy documentary on Netflix. Well, not the doc documentary, but the movie adaptation. And the guy, Ted Bundy, the serial killer, literally trained himself to jump off of a building so that when he jumped off of the second story to escape from uh, the courthouse that he was stationed in, he would have endured enough to, to the point that he could jump down, land on his feet and, and make a run for it. And that was, Intense, scary movie. I would recommend watching, you know, <laughs> talking to your parents if you're young enough, if you're too young before watching the movie because it was kind of graphic at times, but it was a good movie too. Nonetheless, I liked it. Okay, sweet. So this pickaxe can break st uh, uh, stone iron ore and coal ore and that one can mine oak wood. So we'll mine the oak wood over here. And then there's just some water in there. Do I have to mine all this? Uh, no, it can only mine iron and coal ore. So let's just go ahead, start mining some stone and see what we can do to kill ourselves. <laughs> never thought I'd be saying that. But then again, there's a lot of things I never thought I'd be saying. Okay, we have enough to make a furnace, which is good. We do have the chest over there. Let's go ahead and craft our crafting table first so that we can even wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a good idea? Hmm. I feel like I just need to craft something that can get me to drown myself. Um, what could you do with cobble and iron? Iron, you could get a bucket. Bucket, you could, yep, okay, yeah, yeah. This is the right thing then. So I'll go ahead and craft this crafting table. What's this ax for? Oh yeah, can mine the oak wood. So now that we got the crafting table, we'll place that down. We'll get our cobblestone. And once again, there's gonna be a smelting grind, unfortunately, as we wait for the iron. But I think my idea is I'll just grab this water right here, I'll put it above, and then I'll drown myself. Even though, again, that would be such a gruesome death. I, whew, I've gotten close to drowning before, actually. Uh, me and my older brother, we used to do this thing called underwater wrestling. Not a smart idea for kids. And this one time he put me under the water for way too long, and, and we had this signal where we would, I don't know, like scream or, or go after each other just to, uh, let us let, let each other know that we were drowning and he must have not gotten my signal and that was freaky you know got the water in my lungs and stuff and then and, and uh well not not my lungs it, it was just it was my lungs were burning like crazy and it scared the heck out of me after that we didn't do underwater wrestling anymore 
You guys are getting a lot of stories in this video, a lot of weird life traumatizing stories of mine. <laughs> okay, nice. So now that we're right there, we'll just go ahead. We, ooh, why did I stop it? That was not smart. We'll, we'll just stay right here and wait for ourselves to drown. And from there, we'll move on to the next level. Let's go ahead and, and try to stay in this spot without messing up. We'll throw away the ax in the bucket and whatnot just because I don't know what else to do. Yeah, this is giving me memories right here. Not, not good ones too. No, I'm freaking out. Not really. I'm, I'm, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I am an idiot. Oh, there we go. Let's start drowning again. I went into F5 mode and that, that messed me up. So I stopped drowning. <laughs> okay. And we're dead. Nice. Moving on to the next part. There's an iron golem. I saw one right there. Let's just hit him and he'll kill me. Or let's get iron from this. Oh, now I feel bad. I don't want to kill these guys. These guys are nice. Okay, there's a bucket set with a, or a bucket, a shovel that can mine gravel. So let's mine the gravel, which I'm assuming we're gonna have to get some flint and steel. This is what this is looking like. Yep, we got that right there. We got the iron, we got the flint and steel. And then from there, we'll just go ahead. I don't know what all these other blocks are for, but I'll just burn myself right here. Might as well burn some other stuff as we go down. Ah, burn the whole thing, put it all on fire. Burn all the roses, burn everything. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> And we're dead. Next spot is click here for a hint. There's a chest, so there's a bunch of wheat seeds. I'm gonna put the wheat seed right there. Oh, they, ha they have the random tick speed sped up. That's what they do. There we go. So now that we got that, we got some wheat. Uh, we're gonna trade with the villager a wheat for five iron ingots, okay? Now that we got the iron ingots, we'll make a minecart and we'll suffocate from fall damage. Man, I'm figuring this out so quick. You guys gotta be proud of me for this. This is, this is impressive right here. There's that. And once again, suffocating. How terrifying would that be? Just like losing your air. I, okay, another story. I was watching Bear Grylls on YouTube the other day and he actually enacted one time. He actually uh, replicated the effects of what an avalanche would have. And in an avalanche, you basically just end up suffocating to death. And that was terrifying to watch. I did not like watching that. Okay, so for these guys, oh, this is gonna be terrible. I think what we need to do is get ender pearls and then damage ourselves with enough ender pearls. This is gonna be very grindy. And these endermen are super, super loud. So I am just gonna skip to it when I get enough ender pearls. Hopefully this is more than enough to um, die. Oh yeah, I barely needed any actually. Let's just go ahead and boom, nice. We'll respawn and click here for a hint as usual. We got lots of mobs. We got a villager who wants to trade a, a potion of weakness for a wither rose. So there's the potion. I guess we'll kill the blaze, get the blaze powder for the potion. Stick that guy right in there, nice. Now that we got that, we got a witch right here. We'll kill him for some brown mushroom. And is this a bad time to say, I don't know how to make the weakness potion. Uh, uh, how do we do it? We got ice over here, which I'll break maybe. Let's see. Oh, and that did nothing. Whoopsie. I should not have done that. Uh, that was not a good idea. Okay, so weakness potion. Let's just keep hitting the witch and see what we get. Okay, I think the weakness potion is just a spider eye, if I'm correct. You guys are probably standing there right now waiting and, and, and freaking out going, no, yeah, Max, that's not how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you craft a weakness potion. In fact, I should probably be looking it up instead of just taking this chance, but I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance and if I mess up, then I'll delete this clip. <laughs> so you guys don't have to see it. Let's see it. And that's just a mundane potion. A mundane potion. Uh, I don't know how to do, yeah. I don't know how to craft this up, so I said I'd delete this clip. I won't. I'll just look it up real quick. Hey, quick Google later. I found out it was a fermented spider eye you need and not. Oop, we need to get a regular potion now. And now there's no water because I broke the ice. Uh, can I get another another water potion? Can you get water potions from witches? I, I don't know. Question mark. I think you can only get glasses. Yeah, you can. Okay, we are not cheating. This is not cheating. This is just poor designer, poor, poor game design on the on the creator's part. Not really, but yeah, it is kind of. Okay, this one, there's a red block. Oh, oh, that, that anvil scared the heck out of me. Nice, nice, we got try to die, done and dunner. So now there's a maze, that one will be boring. I'll probably do that one on my own because I don't think you guys would wanna watch me do a maze. But there is an escape and there's a mob arena. To end this video, we're gonna do the mob arena. And if you guys wanna see the rest of these videos too, or the rest of these mini games, parkour, there's parkour, there's escape, which might be fun. There's a mob arena and then there's maze, which I'll probably just do on my own. If you guys wanna see the rest of them though, comment down below and I won't play ahead just so that you guys can keep up with me. All right, so let's do mob arena though. And we'll just press start. 
Nice, we got some swords, we got some armor. I don't know if this is a bad time to say, but my PvP is not the greatest. So, we got some decent amount of golden apples, we got a shield. I'd rather have the shield in my hand than the, uh, than the totem of undying. Let's see how good my PvP skills are. So now that we're here, we're ready, we're ready to go. This is a cool arena too, I like this design, it's very nice. How do we get it started? By running around and waiting? Um, uh, there's nothing happening. I don't see anything happening. This is not good. What's my armor? Oh, that's that's actually some pretty decent armor too. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. This is this might be a little bit more cheating, but maybe there's something that just went wrong, and I just have to go over and inspect their command blocks. No, they put some barrier blocks around too, so I couldn't get out. Yeah, there's a lot of command blocks down there, and I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Oh man, this is very confusing. But I think what we'll do. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go through all these command blocks. That's way too many command blocks for me to go through that. I do not want to. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do another kill command right there. Well, hopefully, nope, we didn't spawn back too. That's not good. Uh, maybe if I just teleport to about the zero coordinates. Yep, there is the main sequence, the main arena where we spawn in. At least I think so. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know where I am. Oh, there it is. There it is. Very nice. So I'll clear my inventory too so you guys know I'm not cheating anymore. Put myself back into survival mode and then we'll be good to go. Because that one was not working for some reason. Okay. So now that we're back here. Oh, and I killed the entities. Oh, no. No. We'll just do this one. We'll do a few parkour rounds real quick. Even though I stink at parkour, we'll just do a few. Okay. We'll do this parkour. But yeah, uh, I guess I, for the next video, I probably won't do this again if you guys, I, I, it's fun. It's always fun playing these new games, but you know, if they're a little bit lower games, not as well known, which is the games I usually typically try to find. Sometimes, ooh, in the darkness, that's not fun. Sometimes it can make finding some pristine, really well games made hard to do. My games are always 100% pristine and 100% amazing. And this game is fun, don't get me wrong. This is a really fun game. I don't mind this at all. There's just a few quirks every once in a while. Okay, some ice parkour. Yeah, I, I think you guys got to comment down below and let me know if my parkour is a bit better than it used to be because I think it might be. Oh, we got some barrier blocks indicated by these particle effects right here. That's a cool way to do that too. I like that. Okay, and then we got some nether bricks. Maybe I'm just a parkour master now, but these jumps are pretty simple. I will say that much. Uh oh, here we go. We got to test it now. We got end rods and an end rod right there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at your boy. I just defeated that parkour first try. Except for one mess up when it was darkness out, but that, that's pretty good right there. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one. This is the mob arena. Oh no, oh no, let's return to start. No, no, we don't want to do the mob arena. We'll try this one. This is the maze. We don't want to do that. Uh, there's the mob arena. What's this one? Mob arena. Oh, I keep pressing this. Oh my gosh. You got, this is so annoying. Return to start, and it's the one on the right that we haven't done. Escape. There we go. So, we'll just go ahead and do a few of these rooms and, and do a little bit of escaping. There's a bed right there. There's some slab right there. Is there anything on the ceiling? There's a hopper. Nothing in the hopper. Is that a toilet? Oh, just press the button. Oh, that was return to start. Let's see. Let's go back. And we just went back to the wrong. This is technical difficulties in Yo Mikester 23 is brain. That's that's technical difficulties in my brain part. Okay, no, there we go. There's a start button. Okay, nice. So there's two beds. I can already see there's a chest down there and there's hints. We don't want the hints. We don't we don't need the hints. There's another barrel right there with some shears that can mine iron bars. A lot of this stuff is sometimes pretty grindy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna skip this because I don't want you guys to have to sit through me breaking iron bars. Yep, I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, and actually, I just realized, I looked at the time, um, we are running out of time. Th this video has gone on way too long. If you were wondering, he's trading gold nuggets for uh, iron hoe that can break iron doors, and that just sounds like a lot more of grind work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna end it right here. I don't think I'll continue this game in another video, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and if you guys wanna check out this game on your own, play it on your own, I will have a link to it in the description. This was this was fun. There were some definitely unique challenges in there, and there was a few times where I um I literally had to kill myself, which was not fun. I don't want to do that ever again. That was that was scary. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun, jam-packed, full of a lot of action, lots of mini games, and lots of puzzles and thinking. I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever that may be. Hopefully, a building tutorial for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy Minecraft, enjoy life. I'll see you in the next one, and ciao!